Hey, hope you're doing good. It's Chris here from Six Frame Finger Picking. Today we're learning how to play a fingerstyle arrangement of Hit the Road Jack. Hope you enjoy. Please like, share, subscribe. As always, the full lesson guitar tab, that's available down below. Let's just get right into the lesson. Okay, so here we go. So the intro. is just that, okay? So the whole chord progression for the whole song is just A minor, G, F, and E. Okay, just round and round and round. So hold down your A minor, play in a bass, fifth string, then strum, and then G, sixth string, so just bass, strum. Same on an F, I'm playing my F like this, but you know, as always, you can just do a regular bar chord, but sixth string, and then strum, and then to an E, bass. And then here I'll strum up, down, up. Or something like that. So it's just. And then again, A minor, G, F. And on the E, I'll probably just play the sixth string on its own, so just. Okay, so that's your intro. Very simple. It definitely gets a bit harder after this, but so far you've got. And that then goes straight into the chorus, which is a lot of fun to play. But as you can see, it's a lot more involved. Same chord progression, just going round and round but we've got to get that melody in there as well. So we've played our bass note on the E chord. Okay, then you're gonna play open first string and then first fret on the second string and then you into your A minor. So hold down your A minor chord, start with the third fret held down on the second string, play that with the bass and then pull that third fret off to the first fret. So like, so you got here, the road. Okay, then you've got this strummy thing going on. like that, okay? So all I'm really doing is just coming down and just really lightly just knocking into that fourth string, okay? Just a very light strum. But then that, what you'll find is that that just adds like a kind of percussive element to it. So on the counts of two and four, you've always got that two, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four kind of thing going on. It's very hard to explain, but that is what's going on. But really it's just coming down, striking roughly the fourth string Okay, and then after that, we're gonna, you're going to play the third string, second fret. Okay, and that's going to your G. So you can then play the bass note of your G. Okay, and then again, it's another strum. Really just targeting that fourth string again. And then you're going to play that second fret on the third string again. And that's going to go to your F. So slowly... So then you're into your F chord, second and sixth string together, and then the second string again, and then add the third fret on the second string, and strum, just make that second string the top one that you play, like that. So, okay, then to E7, so I just keep that third fret on the second string held down and bring in the third string first fret. I'll play those two with the bass of your E, and then the first fret on the second string. So from the F, it's like that. That's what's going on. And then, I love this bit. So A minor strings one, two, and five, and then strum, strings one and two, so. Okay, and then G, I play the bass note of my G chord, and then on the top two strings, I start on the fourth fret, I play all three of those strings together, and then quickly slide out to the fifth fret on the top two strings. Just like that, so. And then again, strum those top two strings, and then up eighth fret on the top two strings, 
and the 8th fret on the 5th string, play those all together and then I'll also add the 7th fret on the 3rd string and I'll strum those top 3 strings. Alright, so you've gone Okay, very cool. And then on the top string it's the 4th fret and on the 2nd string it's the 2nd fret to start, so 4 and 2. Play it with the bass and quickly slide up to the 5th and the 3rd. So look, like, like that. So. Okay, and then we go back to hip Okay, so that's exactly the same as the previous A minor, remember? And then the F, don't you come back, no. Okay, so that's the same as before, first two bars. So, so far you've got... And then the same as the first time. Okay, and then, of course, it's back to A minor, hold down your A minor, strings three and five, and then strum, and then G, bass, strum. Okay, so just, and then, so you've got, don't you come back no more, and then you've got, what? that's the word you say. So there, that sort of F chord here. So I'm borrowing the top three strings on the fifth fret and also playing the sixth fret on the second string and holding down the eighth fret on the fifth string. But you know, I'll play strings one, two, and five, or one, two, three, and five, and then strum the top few strings. So. Okay, and then up to the eighth fret on the top string and the ninth fret on the second string. Play those two together so you've got and then bass. What do you say? Okay, so hit the road, Jack. And don't you come back no more. And then what do you say? From there you go back and go hit the road, Jack. Don't you come back no more. So the same as before. Okay, so exactly the same, and then to finish, hit the road, Jack, and don't you come back no more. You just, the melody ends on that A minor there. Okay, so you go through it all over again, you do that walk up, and then, and don't you come back no, A minor, third and fifth string, strum, G, bass, strum, and then F, Bass up, down, and then I go to E, play strings one, sorry, two, three, four, and six. Okay, so don't you come back no more. Okay, so I hope that all makes sense. I'll play it once more from the start of this section for you. Feel free, of course, to play along. Here we go one, two, one, two, three. From there, you're into the... Yes, if you say so, you have the pepper beans in. Okay, so there's the verse, and then there's the outro to that as well. So if you're watching this on YouTube, I'm going to be teaching that on my website. Link down in the description. Check it out. You get the rest of the lesson right away, completely for free.
Okay, that's it for this lesson. I really hope that you've enjoyed. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and head over to sixfingerpicking.com where there are hundreds and hundreds more lessons all on finger picking and finger style guitar. So check it out. There's a whole bunch of courses that you can take too. If you really want to invest in your finger picking and you can try out any of the courses completely for free. So all the links down in the description, but that's it. Thanks so much. I'll see you again.